you click out of this, you're gonna lose money. So if you crypto and you want to get into real estate, you need to see this video. I'm a real estate broker, real estate investor, and real estate mentor to my clients. You got to see this. You're going to learn a lot. Don't click out. You are going to. You know what I say, 20 seconds. Drone. Ian. All right, we're at a coming soon listing. Ian is doing something very, very important. He's going to hammer this sign in. Good job, Ian. So Ponzi schemes are all the rage right now. And you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna make your own Ponzi scheme. Huh? And I'm not talking about your friends, your family, your cohorts, or whatever. I'm talking about making some kind of scheme that's gonna make you a massive amount of wealth, and it's gonna kinda look like a Ponzi scheme, except we're gonna call it something different, like a reverse triangle, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Learn what the point of a Ponzi scheme is, make money. Let's refer to Doug Polk to get the actual reference of what a Ponzi scheme really is. Ponzi, and that people, the new people are being brought in just to pay the old people. And then let's see how we can relate that to real estate and how you can take advantage of making money in crypto, your job, or whatever it is you're doing, and compound that into steady eddy wealth for the long term. So this video kind of works if you're already making money from somewhere. And if you're making it from crypto, I'm purposely making this video for you because I want you to consider a less volatile example as to where to stash some of your proceeds in addition to crypto. I'm not saying stop doing crypto. I'm not saying quit your job. Keep your job. You got to have a job. Graham Stephan says you got to have a job. For me, working as a real estate agent pretty much funds everything else. If it wasn't for me working as a real estate agent, I wouldn't have the money to invest get some real estate, hedge it. Look, Ty Lopez, Josh Altman, Matt Altman, they just told you to do exactly this. Just in case cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, Absolutely. he's got a hedge with some literal physical thing that he can still run out and creating a shirt. You should listen to him, you should do it. Diversify just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do a demonstration now. This is your life with just real estate. This is your life with real estate and crypto. Maybe even a little bit healthier for you. This is your life with just crypto. So if you're making bank on crypto, or you're making off like uh, Bernard Madoff, I mean crypto, then you're gonna wanna put that money somewhere. Why not put it into real estate? Look, all right, real estate is a little more slow moving than crypto, but you still got some opportunities. Watch this example, and we're gonna talk about how you can start with that same thing now. So here's what I did. I took my job making very, very little money, which for you could be crypto and you could be making a whole lot more money, which would be great. And I took that and invested it in August of 2012 into a $305,000 house. Fixed it up and all in, we were into it for about $50,000. That's because we put three and a half percent down. We used the bank to help finance the renovation and the rest we put in. Now here's the key. In 2014, we took the extra savings we had put aside, pulled out a credit line on house number one, Ponzi victim number one, we'll call it. See where I'm going with this, okay? Took the money from that house and used it to buy a second one for $388,000. Bought it as a rental, so we put 25% down on it. The vast majority of that was from the credit line. Another portion was just funds that we had saved. See, this is where the scheming really starts. Then in 2015, we refinanced both property number one and property number two to put $60,000, it came out to about $70,000, about 10% on a $600,000 house, and that is a house that we chose to live in. So you can only put less than 20% down if you live in a house, remember, I'm not gonna list all the real estate principles that I know, but if you watch these videos, you'll slowly get them all out of me. The cool thing about us putting 10% down on that house that we purchased was it was actually a 20% down loan coupled with another 10% equity line. Remember, we still had that equity line on victim number one, house number one. We still had that cash out refinance we did on the second property, which helped us get into this one as well. So we had a $60,000 credit line available, 10% of the house. It was fully drawn when we first bought the house, but then what we did is we took other proceeds, started paying that credit line off. Here's the cool thing about credit lines. Every dollar you pay down on them, your payment actually goes down. It's awesome, okay? So it's a little bit more conservative. 
just those three properties, about $1.3 million. Today, those are worth about $2 million. That means doing nothing, they have created a net worth of an additional $700,000 just from having bought those properties, renovating them, and the market doing its thing. Remember, including the financing here. All we did was use our own little scheme that we call it, where the value in one helped pay for another one. That's kind of what's going on. But see, it's a little reverse. In BitConnect, a new person comes in and pays the old person. In this case, you take the old and you pay for the new house. So I guess that kind of be like a reverse Ponzi scheme. A reverse Ponzi scheme. You could buy a place for yourself to live in, you could rent out the rooms, you could move in with a spouse, and it's not too late. Whenever you want, you could get in. That's what's nice about real estate. See, you just wanna get in, and if it helps for you to think about it a little bit this way, then hopefully this was helpful for you. It should have been pretty clear. And make sure to watch the end of the video for the bonus. Okay, now it's the end of the video. All right, watch this. You own these properties for your whole life from 25, 20 on, wherever you buy, whenever you buy them, 20, 40, 50, who cares? You own them forever, and when you sell them, you exchange them, you'll never pay a dime of tax for the appreciation on these properties. Talk to your CPA about that. Can't give you tax advice because I'm not a CPA, but when you die, pass it all on at a stepped up basis. Kinda cool. So I can't tell you that you're gonna make millions owning real estate, but I can tell you if you buy and hold, you probably will. You just gotta start. Take that Bitcoin profit, that crypto profit, and move it over, all right? Because if you look at what's created the most millionaires consistently, now of course you got Bitcoin, I got a Bitcoin show and all that, but if you just look what stood the test of time, it's been real estate. Jack, say bye.